Yo, what's up guys? Today we're talking about the big players on Wall Street. This isn't your average game of Monopoly. There's a reason why they call it the concrete jungle. It's a realm where the stakes are high and the players are even higher. The world of finance is a complex web of transactions, strategies, and yes, sometimes manipulation. Picture this, a world where information is the hottest currency, more precious than gold, more coveted than diamonds. It's the lifeblood of the financial district. But how is this information obtained? Sometimes through cunning and crafty means, such as hacked emails, bribed employees, or even illegal collusion. It's a game of shadows where one wrong move can cost you everything. And who's pulling the strings in this puppet show? The big players, the movers and shakers, the ones who know the game like the back of their hand. Insider information is the hottest currency here. Remember Martha Stewart? The doyen of domesticity, the queen of the home, a household name who found herself in hot water for trading on insider information. Quite a departure from her usual image, isn't it? Stewart, the homemaker of America, was convicted and sentenced to five months in prison in 2004. This was the result of her trading shares of the pharmaceutical company Imclone based on insider knowledge she had received. The story goes that Stuart knew Imclone's stock price was about to take a nosedive. So, what did she do? She played her cards right. Well, right for her, but wrong in the eyes of the law. She sold her shares, saving herself from a significant financial loss. Yes, indeed, even the high-profile personalities can get embroiled in the murky world of insider trading. She knew that the stock price of the pharmaceutical company Imclone was going to fall and she sold her shares just in time. Many critics say, yes, Wall Street in their eyes is nothing more than a high stakes casino where the chips represent the hard earned money of millions. This isn't a game of poker with friends. This is a game where people's livelihoods are on the table. The players, they're not concerned with the companies whose stocks they're betting on. They're not thinking about the employees, the innovators, or the dreamers behind these businesses. They're not worried about the ripple effects their bets could have on the economy. Their focus is on the numbers, the trends, and the potential for profit. The stock market was designed as a place for companies to raise capital and for investors to share in the success of these companies. But somewhere along the line, for some, it became less about investing in businesses and more about playing a game. They bet on the stock price of companies without regard for the companies behind them and the people who work there. High frequency traders use algorithms and super fast computers to trade billions of times faster than ordinary investors. This statement alone is enough to make anyone's head spin. High frequency trading or HFT is a type of algorithmic financial trading characterized by high speeds and high turnover rates. But what does it all mean? Essentially these traders are using advanced technology to get a leg up on the competition to the point where they're able to conduct trades in mere fractions of a second. This gives them the power to capitalize on the smallest shifts in the market, something that everyday investors simply can't do. Now this raises a very interesting question. Is this fair? Is it simply smart gambling? using all available tools to gain an advantage? Or does it cross the line into the realm of fraud, manipulating the system to the detriment of other players? The answer is yet to be definitively determined. 
but it's clear that this practice is reshaping the landscape of the financial world. So we ask again, is this still gambling or already fraud? The US Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, is trying to crack down on the illegal activities on Wall Street. This is no small task. When it comes to dealing with the fast paced world of high frequency trading and insider information, the SEC is stepping up to the plate, swinging its regulatory bat with all its might. But are they hitting home runs or just fouling off? The SEC faces many challenges. Wall Street's tricks are constantly evolving, with new technologies and strategies always emerging. It's like trying to hit a moving target. And let's not forget the sheer volume of transactions happening every second. It's an overwhelming task, akin to finding a needle in a haystack. The SEC is taking steps to level the playing field. They're enforcing stricter regulations and imposing hefty fines for those caught in the act. But despite their best efforts, the game continues. Wall Street's players are always one step ahead, turning this regulatory ordeal into nothing more than a cat and mouse game.